You ain't get it in. All right, we're back. Welcome back. We're back. All right, we're looking at me and Galvin looking at trail camera pictures. Sorry. Hey, we're looking at trail <laughs> camera <laughs> pictures and me and Ryan. But we've got a very special episode today. Me and Sire just reading subject lines. What's special about it? It's all questions. All yeah. questions. All the questions. Fan. We haven't done one of these in a while. Zero um, so. answers, only questions. So last yeah. night or yesterday afternoon this will kind of tell you when we're recording this but we're not going to give you no i don't way. know we don't know when this will air but we posted a deal on instagram with Sai for requesting questions y'all sent in a bunch of them so we're Sai. gonna just answer them but unlike normal where we've got our heads down reading the questions we're gonna have beth and hunter actually ask the ah, questions the voice. So, and the jordan voice. and jordan and rocky top so the canadian is that home sweet home the canada the hot wheel car driver the cut Canada and, and Rocky, Rocky Top. Top. Well, it's Rocky Top wild, man. Like, is he? I didn't realize till yesterday my man drives a minivan. I had, really, oh, okay. that was cool. Like, I was Family like, why man. is there a white Family minivan man. pulling in the back parking lot? Because now we all work together. Like, everybody's in the same building. And I looked and I just wasn't expecting to see him. It's a very I don't know. practical rig. It really is. You can press two buttons and the whole sides open up on each side yep. and you can run straight through it. Eight and if you're ever running from somebody, you can then press the button and close them in. Don't, well, I've got a question. Don't hey. hear that was, and this was in no way like a hate on him for driving me. It was just unexpected. How many children because, do you have? Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, kids. he don't oh, have any kids. That was my question. He's planning on. And kids. he's planning on. And y'all right. can't see Rocky Top, but he's about my size. So it was just I was just taken aback. <laughs> like it's very practical, back. Rick. Uh, Agree. I rented one one time, and Where I almost just asked if I could keep it. Yeah. So uh, I just I thought it was I thought it was bizarre. I was just, oh they're a good vehicle. What did God bizarre? Just, what did you just ask him? Where was he taking her back to? <laughs> Who me? Yeah, I was taking it out back. I got you. He was yeah. taking a back. Yeah, it just it caught me off guard. But anyway, that see now That's we're kind of this is what happens on this show. We just kind of end up in the we back just go lot. yonder <laughs> Many but vans. Anyway, questions. Is questions. it a hybrid? No. I got a, a question. Do you I'm hear a, about? Do you hear about Willie Nelson getting run over by that car? No, I hadn't heard that. He's playing on the road again. He's playing on the road again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> if we ever go down the road of making our own candy. Hey, hey, on the road again. We're going to have Goblin writing all the jokes on the rap. I, I got boy. fans sending them in. That was from hey, a fan. I don't I was remember who it was. was going. But... He was playing on the road How's again, boys. Hey, Beth's like looking. Beth, I'm a little nervous because I at least know what questions are always coming so I can. No, these are, I guarantee you, no. they're the same ones. Oh, no, probably. But we'll see. Beth? All right. Well, speaking of cars and vehicles, what kind of pickups do all the guys at Duck Commander drive? Ooh. Actually, I'm about to sell Willie Robertson's old truck from Duck Dynasty. If you're interested uh -oh. in a big, gaudy uh -oh. Gator Flame truck with a huge lift and it's way a too big, that's a good idea. Show a picture. Let's yeah. show a picture. Yeah. If you would like to purchase Hold this on. truck. Right. Willie used to drive this truck. I'm going to sell this sucker. <laughs> and I want UP. I want a fan to have Willie's truck. That truck right there is up for sale. It's for sale. I own it now. That's right. It can be yours. That's right. It can be yours. It also, does, it doesn't it. have the roof rack anymore. Yeah, that got that taken got off. ripped off. Yeah, got taken off. Um, roof rack gone. I think everything else is, is the still bumper there. still there. Well, it's bumper's for, still there. It's a little crooked because I tried to rip out a root of a giant oak tree and that didn't work. There you go, though. So you could own that truck, folks. F one fifty. Please, go. please buy his truck because the boy cannot park it. Like uh, it's really big. Please. It's always in the way. I please, need a minivan. Please buy. That's please that. buy uh, his truck so that he can get something he can park. But what side drives a F one fifty? Yep. Brand, brand spanking new. I, buy, I drive a Tundra. J yep. And yep. I bought me a. Did I tell you that? I bought me a little Tacoma. Yeah. Did you for the camp for the deer camp? Yep. It's yeah. amazing what happens when you lose weight. And I've actually got, I got get a Tacoma. Yeah. You'll get a smaller but look, yeah. I think this is, what are they, that midlife crisis stuff? Because, boy, when I get it back in the spring, I'm fixing the fix you fix it jacket it up. up. Oh, yeah. I like oh. a Tacoma. He's fixing Luke Bryan it, boys. You going to put it closer to God? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just lift it on up. That's right. I'm in my dad's F-150 while I'm waiting on a new truck to arrive. Are so. you getting a new truck? You drove that GMC. How many miles are on that? 230. There you go. Mm -hmm. Hey, my I truck broke has in. 60 on it, and yeah. it's a 2013. Yeah, mine's a 2012 with 230. Mine's been well-driven. You uh, drive. Yeah. I got another truck. What you got ordered? 
Okay. Uh, a Chevy 2500. 2500. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. You'll like it. I Mine's like got 83,000 yeah. on it. I mean, my Chevrolet. Your she- oh, the little one? Yeah. The little. Uh, a Colorado. Yeah. I couldn't with remember the, big, the name. He's got the a Colorado. I've been to Colorado. With a big engine in it. I'm, little trucks interest me supremely. Little trucks? Tacoma, uh, Colorado. Yeah, well, the problem. in some places down there in the mountain. Oh, and nice. you know what you can get cheaper than like a Polaris Ranger? A, a Toyota Tacoma. With heat in there, thank you. That's what I, I'm talking about. How you going? About. With heat. T- and, and, a, and a radio. Like a Ranger or any of them UTVs now cost you 20 grand. I, they do. I mean, it's wild. With no doors on them. You can go hey, get a Jeep. Right. You can with go get no a Jeep for like 16 grand. I paid like, 6000 thank you. See? It ain't even got there no doors go. on it. Yeah, I'm going Tacoma or Tundra whenever the Gator Flame. Oh, you got to go Tundra. Jive. Bro. You got too many kids. That's true. Like, you can't yeah. go Tacoma. I I'm mean, probably going Tundra. Yeah, you can go. You can go. You can go Tacoma in like ten years, but right now you got to have a Tundra, big dog. Bro. Ah, so many. This kids. is a '98 model. That is sweet. Yeah. It's got the hey, R22 they engine. The in it. They crashed I, the gate. But if '98 what, boys, what I'm sure you've heard by what we said is we are not brand loyalist. We just go with what the best yeah. deal is. So right. hey, truck yeah. companies, if you're looking for something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can be rented. Just throwing that That's out. Right. Yeah. There's well, a reason I drive a truck with gator flames on the yeah. side of it. It's because it was cheap. Yeah. Chrysler, <laughs> you want to throw some minivans this way? I'm hey. rolling. I'll let you boy. Yeah. Like, I can put a jack and carry a kayak behind a minivan. This is a shameless sell on all of us. That's like, right. <laughs> free rigs are free rigs. So <laughs> I'll put a trailer ball behind it. I guarantee you. Like, you met town car, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. all right. Well, speaking of good causes, good okay. cause. Oh boy! Would you all shave your beards if it meant raising money for a special cause? It would be a very special and very cause. Yeah, very I would have to and, and be a very cause. I I would have to clear that with Brittany and my children. Yep. Before Free. before I, my kids have never seen me without a beard, so I'm scared to yeah, death. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. They oh, would. It was scared. It was scared. Right. Right. Like because I did it. Yeah. yeah. Pre Duck Dynasty. I I was in the. I took a shower one morning and I just well, Jace shaved did it off. That. Jace did I that. Come he, got out his, and he got his hair cut. My and daughter his wouldn't shaved. even look at me in the eyes. Yeah, yeah. see, he, I was looking. Down Jace looked him. rough when he did it. Well, no, no, cause, oh, hey, nobody yeah. didn't know him. Yeah, yeah. He looked like he just ended at a CR. Yeah, like yeah. He looked like he just completely hey, nobody celebrated. knew him. Yeah, he had hurts, habits, and hang-ups. That's that's what what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He looked like a guy just walked out of Celebrate Recovery. No. So, you he, know, like, he looked more like he should have got kicked out of the Trump Tower after he shaved. <laughs> yeah. 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 When people like people yeah. will tell you, oh, man, when you shave, you're like, yeah. wow, your face is fat. No, Jace's face was like sunk in. No, like, it was just yeah. so weird yeah, he looked looking. bad. Like, yeah. it was. Well, uh, hey, yeah. hey I I'm wanted, just saying the truth. And nobody in the world knew him. I wanted to buy the boy a cheeseburger. Yeah. Like, yeah, man, so you, need to, you need Come to eat so something. Let's, let's take, you, <laughs> take you down there to Burger King. You can all you all the whoppers you can eat. Triple. So. Double, triple <laughs> bacon. No, that's not But I would, you know, I whenever I get posed questions about this, I'm like, how much money would we raise? Because it may just be easier to write the check. Yeah. Like, just write the check to the foundation yeah. instead yeah. of shaving. Be like, oh, that- you think it would raise a grant? Here's your check. Call it, call it good. If that person can figure out how to raise a bunch of money for me to shave my beard, I would gladly do it. If it was for like something cool. Yeah. Now, if it's for like. Uh oh. Yeah, not Careful. gonna answer that. Careful. I was Careful. gonna say cats. Yeah. Careful, big dog. Like, no. Careful. Yeah, if it's for like kittens, nah, my beard's staying. I don't need. They don't need any money. But if it's for like you know the Saint Francis Nicky, I think me and Martin would both be like shunk. I would, yeah. We I'd, would do stuff for that, but it would, you know. But I'd have to know it was for an amount more than I could write a check for. Yep. Like, if I could write the yeah. check for it, then yeah. I'd probably just write the check. So, whoever wrote that in, do we have names? No, no, no names. Hey, no. Well, no, don't, no, don't, name. don't want no name. name. If you figure out how we can raise a bunch of money shaving our beards, because I don't know how. And I need to see a guaranteed bottom line. Guaranteed. Like, I need you to back it. Like, Carter wants yeah. me to shave my beard, so. Does he really? Yeah, he thinks it'd be hilarious. I don't it know. Probably why. would. You'd it, look weird. It would be for a hot You're man. weird enough already, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. We got time for one more for our first Ooh. break. What we got, Beth? Okay. Funniest thing that's happened in the duck call room, and I'm just going to say off the top, I think Vienna sausages, no, the trial, the trying of the. That's terrible. 
Wasn't <laughs> funny at all. That, yeah, watching, I must have not been here for that. No, watching Johnny D. Yeah, like, yeah you would have slurped I, him I, down. You, I, you know, know, I had to threaten Man. him. I had to threaten him for him making that is one. a duck hunting okay. treat that can't yeah. be beat. Yeah, that's it. Hey, <laughs> JD, JD disagrees with you. I right. I think the funniest thing for me personally was the first time Christine was here and basically <laughs> sat here for an hour calling yeah. Cy a, a liar. liar. Just yeah. debunked it all. <laughs> like the she fat just, checker. Yeah, she just basically said, no, tacos. Yeah, but <laughs> like, hey, hey. No, we're no, eating no. spaghetti. But no, tacos. but here's the deal on that, okay? You got to you gotta have clarification on it. Okay, it's from the perspective. Whose perspective you're taking? But how do you no, get tacos no and spaghetti confused? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you. Well, they're close. He uh, said we were at Olive Garden or Taco Bandito. I don't know which one. Hey, my wife had never ate a taco in her life. <laughs> okay? See, that's a very yeah. absolute statement there that I go. don't believe. Hey, that hey, was well, the... hey, look, I'm just telling you my perspective, okay? That was the funny And that's like, look, yeah. hey. She said I put a $16 cheap ring on the finger. I put a cigar band on the finger when I married her. Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Only the go. Lord honestly knows. And hey, when you throw dirt in my face, if you could ask me beyond the grave, I would still stick to it saying, hey, no. I reached in my pocket and took a cigar out and took the band off of it and slid it on the finger. Like, assuming. And said, I do. Assuming you get to heaven before me. <laughs> and I know you want to time travel. Oh, when I get there, I'm going to go ask you <laughs> when I really, what'd you put on her finger? Hey, yeah. I put a Cause I, you need to go like hey. clarify some of your own stories. That go. way, hey. you know, yeah. For well, those, I ain't, I ain't, changing, lie, I ain't changing my story. They're 95% true, baby. And <laughs> what you get. So I'm going to be a hoot. Now. That's it. Right. I guarantee okay. you. <laughs> I guarantee The meet and greet line <laughs> will be very long. Yeah. Very well, long. let's take a break. <laughs> we'll be back right after oh, this. Oh boy. One of our favorite partners who's been with us maybe the longest out of anybody, AG1. AG1. Philip, I know you love it. I love it. My wife loves it. I mean, once we got hooked on it, I'm telling you. It'll hook you. One scoop it gets in the morning. in you. Cold water. It's good to drink. It, it does so much for you. I can't get away from it. My wife has been drinking it lately. I started on it after uh, Christian Huff introduced us all yeah. to it. It, it is Literally the best thing you can do for your health in just under a minute. Uh, that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. And if you heard me laugh during the middle of that, it's because there's so many good things in it, it startled Cy Robertson. That's right. You guys well, know they have stress management they there. got everything look i drink it in the morning cold cup of water shake it up boom down the hatch and you're ready to attack your day you're going to feel more focus and better recovery if you're working out and you know what just better overall throughout the day mm -hmm. not only do you replace a multivitamin with ag1 and anything else that you it's it's got everything right there because every scoop also includes uh prebiotics and probiotics and digestive enzymes for gut support. Now I know how you handle being Willie's assistant. That's <laughs> it. I recommend it to everybody I know and everybody listening. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership over your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. That's right. And hey, relieve all your stress. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right, enema of the state, hit us with a question. <laughs> Hunter, hold it together, man. You got to ask the questions. Beth had to leave. Who's the wisest Duck Dynasty member? And why is it Cy? And, oh, okay. And why is it Cy? <laughs> Wait a minute. I, Wait a minute. I don't disagree with that. I 100% agree yeah, with I that. Yeah, don't, I don't disagree yeah. with that at all. I think, I mean, I think he if you're thinking outside of it, you probably give the wisdom title to Phil. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But 
I, yeah. Here's what I'll say about that. I'm going with Martin on this. I see where you're going. I see it in your eyeballs. Phil's, Phil's wisdom is in a very specific set area. of skills and circumstances. Yeah. An area. Yeah. You've traveled the world as a member of the armed forces and dealt with – you've lived different places. You've done different things. I'm, I'm giving you the – the wisdom nod. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. I, I, I really am. You now go. that you sell, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, it makes sense. He, he no. thinks he is the wisest. No. Well, no, I don't. No, he would no, no because I don't. he's he said I'm humble. No. He would never say that he no. was. But I would just. But because of what he said of all the different places that I've traveled. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's an education in itself. Yeah. Okay, that's why my daughter and son both are kind of. No. Now, if it is in the woods, living on your own survival, I'm not going with Sai. Then, no, no, because Sai's just going to build. No, a fire. Okay, if you go with me, Sai's going to teach you how to build a fire. Hey, he right, got the yeah. fire going. We're going to die, JD. But you need him. You need <laughs> We're him. We're dead because he keeps the fire going. But <laughs> luckily, this yeah. it's 2023 in America is where I live, so I'm I'm not going to have to face the wilderness any time in life. But whenever I look at everybody that was in Duck Dynasty. And I see a 75 year old man who I don't know. I've what episode is this? Well, we don't know. Yeah, this is around 300. You've been in a bad mood exactly zero times, so you got something figured out. I've seen him one day, well, one right. time in here. No, when he threw the reeds in my lap oh. and said, I'm done. Well, yeah, uh, that, I'm talking about I've seen I was him in a different mood, I've seen him. <laughs> legitimately in a foul mood one time <laughs> but i'm saying and it's when he quit yeah that's right. at 75 right. years old there's a smile on his face he's living the he, you're doing you real well yeah well, you're just right. living your best life as the kids say and like if if i can pull being that happy off at 75 watching gun smoke and sleeping in bed and then going and telling stories oh. for an hour yeah. i i, I feel like got, that's wisdom you gotta understand okay I remember when I hit rock bottom before I got my life straightened out. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have met, you wouldn't have liked me then. Okay, because I was. I'd have probably kept you there a little longer. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm serious. Bad I was, hey, me I'll, and you, me and you would have been each other's best bad influence. Well, like, no, no. That's why I'm glad I I wasn't younger. Amen. When me I too. met you, amen. We would have got in serious trouble <laughs> immediately. Yeah, neither and, one of us would and probably stayed, be here and stayed in trouble. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but anyway, but hey, because I, you know, I everything, you know, from my viewpoint back then, everything sucked. Yeah. Yeah, I mean no. I think everybody's there. Like no. until you until you yeah. have that no, no. Since life changing then, moment. I, like No no. Um, and then ever since then, I hey, life is too short, okay, to to go through all that crap. Dang. So there you go. No, that's your the answer. bottom line. It's too short. Hey, so I wanna look on the bright side of everything. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the biggest questions we ever got during Duck Dynasty was simply, is Sa really like that and the answer yeah. is no y'all only get a snippet i know i always but, tell okay. him y'all can turn him off i can't yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the thing <laughs> willie always said do you think you could fake that for that long but what i'm telling you is like <laughs> however many episodes you've seen of the duck call room which is him oh, the breaks are the same before we start it's the same when we're walking out the door he's the same yeah and that's why i'm like i'd give the wisdom nod to Sai because well, and there's always what a life. the super obvious answer that he was famous for on Duck Dynasty. You can't spell wisdom without S-I. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere is P-H-I-L in there. Hey, that's a good saying. <laughs> and then for dang sure ain't W-I. Oh, wait. Oh, no, there's no L. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's right. next, Hunter? What y'all got? Hunter, Rocky Top, whoever wants to read it, y'all fire away. Do y'all miss making duck calls? Godwin, do you miss making them? Do we miss making them? He's still making them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I quit. <laughs> I mean, look at these. Yeah. I don't make them every day, but if my man gets in a pinch, I go down there and You, should, you should point your hands back to the camera. Yeah, show them. Yeah, show them. Show them that little red ring of death that gets right there in the middle yeah. from pushing the rascals together. Out. Well, right there, right there. Mm -hmm. Well, here's That's a shocker. Where the hide's coming off. Yeah, here's Where's a shocker. Camera? I actually miss it. 
Hey, buddy. Well, we come got on you a back. chair. No, no, no. Hey, no I ain't coming back. We got, I got you a 3, chair. 3,000 tail <laughs> no, calls I, to build. I, yeah, I ain't coming back, but I do miss it because <laughs> you got to understand, okay? The reason. If better. you don't you realize, we have a good time when we're together. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so we've had a great time. We would have to move the reed machine back into the duck call room if yeah. I show back up. Yeah, right. would. We, yeah. we wouldn't be able to have it separate and apart over there. Right now, we got Jackie building them. We had to move him 30 yards over there because he, he'd get... <laughs> he get negative. What do you say? He get, John he, he, he Jackie, get negative. Jackie is good of a man. He ain't doing nothing. He is good of a man as you'll ever meet. But, boy, he'll get negative on you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Mayor, I call call. him the mayor. Yeah. Oh, boy. And he always asking me, where's my ice cream? That's right. Yeah. I ain't ever brought that boy ice cream a day in his life, but I guess hey, I need to. He's still trying. He said, right. said, them boys over there, they just over there sitting there eating ice cream while we working over here. Wow. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. But Jackie, <laughs> good as gold. But you you can't have yeah. him in the room with you. He got to be over there by himself. Like. Side, we'd have to move the riveter, the cutter, everything back he can't in house. Be alone. Oh, I don't want him to be alone. I want him to be with me. Like, oh no, we had a lot of fun, and and yo, know, because you got to realize that's it's a boring job. Yeah, I've only made fifty in my life, and I don't miss it at all. Yeah, it's one boring. day it was like all hands on deck. I made fifty miss prisses, and I was like, uh, uh-uh. my favorite can't do it. My favorite day to come to work before we moved up here and did all this was. The Monday after squirrel season opened, because Si would make about a hundred reads, and then he'd go sit on the porch of the duck call shed with his twenty-two and his tea jug yeah. and shoot every squirrel in Kay's yard. That's right. That's, that's <laughs> and you'd hear, you'd hear, yeah. pop, boom, yeah, and it hit the, it hit the roof. It hit. I mean, he was skipping yeah, that, it off. Yeah, he, he had yeah. he had three chairs. He had one down there by the mailbox, by the boat ramp. <laughs> yeah. And then he had one on the back on the porch. porch. <laughs> yeah. Kay said, "Si, quit cheating my That's squirrels. Oh, quit killing man. the squirrels, especially since I shoot them in the head. She can't eat the head. Oh yeah. Eat the brain. Don't shoot him in the head. Yeah. And well, what did I kill him? I shot him in the head so she couldn't eat the brains. Yeah. It so, was. Hey, man. you got to stop. You'd be sitting there putting together duck calls. You hear, yeah. and it hit a roof. It hit like cause, you know that roof. old compound that everybody saw on like the wide shot. You had Phil's house. You had the duck call shop. You had the warehouse. Had the trailer. You got it. the trailer behind it. Yep, you got yeah. the blue house. They always fell on a roof. Yeah, I had to get a ladder. <laughs> I had to get a ladder to go up and get them. But you knew. That that day we were also going to have squirrel and gravy for lunch. Right. So, I mean, it was like, heck yeah. High well, that high. was the highlight of the day. Yeah. Every time we sit down for the meal. The first, the mm. first, the first Monday after squirrel season opened was, it was something to behold. Cause you knew we were going to have squirrel oh, that's gravy my and favorite. Biscuit. Hey, that's my oh, favorite yeah. wild game. I know it. I can man. eat a bunch of squirrel, especially if they're young. Man, this is way better than us oh. having to come up with. Hold on, what are you about. talking about? Let's yeah. take a break. We'll be back right after this. Look, we all tired. Christmas is over. New year right here. There we are. And we're right on it. 2024. And you need to start the new year off rested. Boom. Do you know how you rest good? When you got good bedding. When you got good pillows. When you got good sheets. When you got good towels. You, you got, got good slippers. Y'all know who we talking about. Mike Lynn Dell. The great American. It's your pillow, your sheets, your towel, and your slippers. So si, when was the last time you wrapped yourself in that cloud known as that robe? Hey. Last night. That's what oh, I'm wow. Saying. That's actually further away than I thought. You know, oh, no. tell me that you've been sitting around naked in your robe watching gun smoke all day. Well, it's early. Well, I do that too. It's morning time. Yeah. It's I early do that in the too. Day. It's fine. Hey, y'all know. Around, around 10 o'clock. It I'm all just, runs together with him. I'm just glad he used them soft towels to dry off with because that means he showered this morning. So we're right. good. Hey, there you there go. We go. Look, and we still have the biggest bedding sale ever going on. So look, if you got snubbed for Christmas and you're like, you know what? I'm by myself something nice. Boom. There nobody you know. else treated me. Get yourself some new sheets. Get the Giza Dream Bed Sheets right now for as low as $29.98. And you can add a set of pillowcases for as low as $9.98. That's a great deal. And it doesn't matter because 
they got all kinds of sizes, colors. It, it you can choose whatever you want. Buy yourself something nice if nobody else did. That's and now all it's I'm about telling. to be cold, so they got duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows. You can just go ahead and hibernate for the rest of the winter, all surrounded by my pillow, my bed sheet, my product, and but my you, rope. And do you know what they have more than products? The biggest discounts ever. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Look, and they're extending their money back guarantee. From Christmas all the way out until March 1st, 2024, making them the perfect gifts Good for day. your friends, your family, and everyone you know. That's so, wonderful. There you go. I'll buy you some bed sheets. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck right now and use promo code duck. duck. So whether you want to get them some sheets, some robe, my robe. some slippers, you want to sleep like side, towels. Hey, my robe. You can get it all with the biggest discounts of the year right now. Right now. Treat yourself. Treat go. somebody else. It doesn't matter. Just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck. Or you can call 800-969-3137. You'll get huge discounts on all MyPillow bedding products, including the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight, and get all your shopping done now, while quantities last, go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or call 800-969-3137 to get your Giza Dream Sheets now. Get them. Order them this second. Uh, all right. We're back. And we're back. Hunter, Rocky Top, fire away. Deer's moving right now. Someone commented they would love to see a movie with Martin and Godwin. What would Who would play you in a movie about your life? Jack Black. Starsky and Hush over Jack there? Black. I don't know. If They've they, already they made, made a movie him. about me and Godwin. It's called Step Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're we're Will Ferrell and meant, John C. Riley. I believe you, you meant Talladega Nights. Or Talladega, yeah, Talladega Night. Uh, say crepes. <laughs> say I love crepes. Um, Is that like a really thin pancake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would play you then, Martin? Huh? If, if Godwin's care. Jack Black. You don't care. Wait, um, I, I know who would play him. Everybody always asks me if I, and I don't watch this show, but apparently it's some popular show, Letter Kenny or something. There's apparently <laughs> Letter some, Kenny's great. There's some guy apparently that looks just like me, like identical to me. Squirrely Dan. There you go. That they always Squirly ask Dan? me if we're related or if I'm doing Dan. that on the side, and I'm, I have no. I've idea. never heard of that show. I ain't either. It's Canadian rednecks. It's great. Okay. Oh, are they? Oh. This is Squirrely Dan. Oh. He does look. He don't a, look like squirrely. To, it's a big boy in overalls. Yeah, yeah, they always boy. send me the picture. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, big boy in overalls. Throw him up there. I want to see what he look like. I'm trying to. With the red yeah. beard. And I wear overall. <laughs> I wore some. He's real a big treat. boy, but he really doesn't favor you. Yeah. Well, yeah. that one he does. I mean, that's yeah. stereotyping, though. Just big redneck. Yeah. Not with that saggard hanging out of his mouth, though. That ain't my life. Eey. Oh, now that one where he's smiling. Uh oh. Trevor Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I see it. Oh, squirrely Dan. Yeah. Like you know, the one down that. on the what bottom. Go. Well, why, how come big boys always got to be typecast and put in overalls, man? <laughs> do you do, wear overalls? I do like overalls. And I do like a Dickies jumpsuit. Quit playing. You know them things are cozy. All seriousness, would you guys give up cheese for the rest of your life or chocolate for the rest of your life? Chocolate. 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 That was so oh, fast. Chocolate. Oh, oh yeah. You got hey, throw the chocolate. You got to have cheese. That was the burger. easiest question oh, I've yeah. ever answered in my life. Yeah, I can't you know have what they don't put on I pizza? I can't have sugar. chocolate. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I didn't think about that. You know what I'm eating? Pizza. You know what they don't put on a hamburger? hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm just telling you. There's that. other desserts. Red velvet, cream cheese. I would say chocolate. There's no... Uh, they're like in the hierarchy of sweets, chocolate is down there for me. Like it's not even not. What's your favorite sweet then? Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes, man. Have you ever watched this show, Rock? Dang, <laughs> dang. Do y'all pay attention no. over there? Oh man, <laughs> y'all are in charge. Jordan's oh. still new. I mean, do y'all even pay attention? What the heck? Come oh, on. Oh, but yes, no. See, but that's a terrible question because cheese is a broad term. Like if you said Swiss cheese. Or chocolate, maybe. All right, what's your favorite kind of cheese then? I All could, of them. Yeah, but I could live without Swiss. No, yeah, no, you can live, but but yeah. chocolate's just one. Is that that light many colored, things? That that's, that's the one with the holes in it. Oh, something done, rat done eating. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Average at best. Yeah. Uh, what kind uh, of air, air holes? What they? Yeah. I don't know. Beats me. But yeah, that, cheese that over hole. chocolate all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. I like cheese. Are there mice on the? Are there mice on the moon? It's made of cheese. <laughs> well, there you go. Vanilla milkshakes are good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, what about tea? What's your favorite brand of sweet tea? Oh, we don't sweet. drink sweet tea. 
Raise your hand if you drink sweet tea. That ain't me. Uh, what, sweet. What, what, oh, okay. like tea. what about tea? It's tea. Tea in general. I I like Lipton. I mean, I got no problem with it. Lipton. Like, this is know. a new brand. Uh oh. What is that? It's called Y'all. Oh, Y'all. I know that old boy. Yeah. Yeah, he used to be a professional it says fisherman. It, and look, and on the bag it says sweet tea, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, hey, hey, look, now this is a cool story. This guy used to be a professional fisherman, stumbled across this tea deal and like quit it. it it's y'all sweet tea. I think his name's Darian, like Darian Craig or something. He's a YouTube. He, now he's like a YouTuber and tea. And now they're making like all kinds of things like and, and spices I, and seasonings. I, and that's really a cool story. Well, hey, and I switched to it for one reason. Regular I, tea, any other tea that I've ever done, I put it in the jug, and it'll last about three days, and then it turns sour. Yeah. You drink it faster than that, so why does that matter? No, no, I don't. Look, he makes this it. one will go five days, and it's still good. What he's telling you is when he makes it, what you consider a jug, most of us would call a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> It's really, it's really a gallon bucket. Yeah. That, that way, <laughs> and that I, way you don't never I, run out. I, I, hey, he got I a whole this. Gatorade thing on his oh, counter. Yeah. Yeah. I know this because I drink two of these things a day. Yeah. So. And I should say half a, half a night. So okay. what you worried yeah, about yeah, going sour for? Well, hey, because sometimes I'm on the road and travel, and uh -huh. i got to have my tea with me. Yeah. So there you so, go. Hey. Oh, so you don't have to wash it. You just refill it. Yeah. Right. Just refill it. Y'all. Yeah. No, I've, I've actually seen my dad. Where'd you get it at? They sent it to me. Yeah. Somebody sent it to me, and then I've. I know. did that for you. Is it? Oh, okay. It well, the old, he the sent old, it to me. The old boy asked me yeah. for your address. I knew him through some other stuff, and he asked me for your address, and I gave it to him. That's he said, Do you think man. he'll drink it? And I was like, Hey, my here's yeah. the deal. It's good. He'll drink it. Here's the deal. Like, me and Willie Robertson, when in the Duck Dynasty day, got a tea offer, and we made a bad decision. Okay, we chose the wrong tea company. Because if it had been the right tea company and they hadn't went bankrupt, okay, I'd still be getting check mailbox money. Brank but instead, rub. you just drink tea for free now. Now I drink it for free. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Hey, maybe y'all will sign up now. Well, hey, Look at that. Hey, y'all. Oh, Darian, if hey. you're listening, you're welcome. Yeah. yeah. I was just fixing that. Next hey, time it's going to cost you. We, oh, no. Because we had made some good tea. And the best one was peach flavored. Yeah. Peach flavored. Oh, oh, yeah. And look, hi, here's how good it was. You get, when you drank this tea, you would get everything just like you had walked out in a Georgia peach farm and pulled a big ripe peach off a tree and ate it. The only thing you wouldn't have with our tea, okay, was the juice that run down your beard. Or you could just drink it fast. Oh, but you oh, could hey, if you missed yeah. your mouth. Do you drink it while it's hot? Uh, no. <laughs> it's always got to have ice in it. I got gotcha. you. Tea uh, don't go uh, hot. Dummy. Uh, man. My uh, dad drank it hot and my mother with yeah. lemon in it. My wife but drinks I, hot tea I drink at night. It ice cold. I drink water. The colder, the better. And Coke Drink zero. it hot and put milk in it. <laughs> oh. That's what they do over there on that island. Uh oh, that's it. Which one? The one with the British people? Yeah, <laughs> with they're, the Brits. They're different than me. Hey. Maybe I'm the weird one though. It's like Who knows? coffee. To them. I think they would say you're the weird one. Well, but yeah, it's y'all's and it, it's excellent. We got orthodontist. Anyway, there, there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know somewhere. Don't we? Done quit preaching and got to meddling. Uh oh, we're meddling now, boy. Uh, What's the next question? No, the next question is we're taking a break and we'll be back right after this. Giggle, giggle, giggle. They think something. Giggle. They think giggle, something's giggle. funny. I'm, there, I'm, did you just hear Hunter? He goes, Do you want to end with that? I can't yeah. wait to end with whatever one Hunter thinks. I know. I can't wait to see where our senses of humor are way different. All right, where's yeah. the next question at, boys? Right. It's over, Yonder. We're swapping the tone a little bit. We're going to go to some more Duck Dynasty questions because I know you guys never get tired of answering those. So, a lot of people don't know this, but is Duck Dynasty still airing? Yeah. Or is it still being made? Yep, rerun. No, not being being, made? It's not right. being made. No, but a, apparently we we have our own channel on like Samsung Plus or something weird. So you, you can a, find it pretty quick. If That's you have wild. a Samsung Smart TV, like you can just watch Duck Dynasty all day or something. But follow up question. So you know, a lot of shows get uh, reboot or uh, or yeah, rebooted or they do reunions. Would you guys 
I guess like every day is a reunion for y'all. Yeah. But it's, it's, uh, visit youtube.com slash duck call room. Yeah. But would you guys be open to a reboot at all? Hey, absolutely. Would. You would have to talk to Willie and Corey Robertson to Why? get to answer for that. What you if you just there? want to do it? Huh? No, they're saying to you, would well, you? Well, I mean, do it? but oh, here's the I, deal. Like there is, I mean, y'all realize like, it's not called Duck Dynasty, but it's pretty much Duck Dynasty. It's called Duck <laughs> Family Treasure. Yeah. Like, just not enough members. Well, it just is missing short, some short key people, members. but it's yeah. pretty much the same show. <laughs> instead of instead of duck hunting, they treasure hunting. But they're always hunting. They're, they're trying all... to find me gold. Yeah. What so, about this? What's the most awkward Duck Dynasty fan interaction you've had? Mm, mm. The woman in West Virginia that asked me and Jay sign her underwear. Not going to top but, that. But said it's okay because the tag's still on it. Was she wearing them? No, they okay. were they were that hidden. Had she had asked. like a pile. Was, of, everybody was thinking. She had like three or four shirts, you know, or what you assumed were shirts. Well, because they, they were shirts. But in the middle of said shirts as we're signing and un, unpacking, there was a pair of drawers in the middle. Did you sign it, though? Absolutely. Was Willie's face on it? I don't remember. Were they the Walmart drawers? They were the Walmart women's underwear, yeah. The Duck I, Dynasty ones? Yeah. I don't remember whose face was on them. But 2016. I know. I was a pair of boxers running around and had me on the left cheek. So <laughs> I signed them, too, for some old boy. Hey. Hmm. That's I it. didn't even know them were made. So, so I had know. plenty of weird ones. Yeah, what's your awkward? So I had to beat the women off with a broomstick, son. Oh, yeah, I think the wildest one Phil had is a pregnant woman wanting him to find, sign her belly. Okay, hmm. you know, which he said, "Whoa, whoa, that's no man's land." <laughs> yeah, we've signed a lot of legs. Yeah. yeah, people with prosthetics oh, they come up there and sit it in front of you. Oh yeah. no, I think that's I, funny. I never. It never gets used. Yeah. You never get used to somebody yeah. taking their leg off. Yeah. I've done that before. This woman said, "Would you sign my foot?" I said, "Yeah." So she took it off and gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it was a vet done that to me. Yeah. He was sitting in the audience. He said, hey, would you sign my leg? I said, yeah, come on up here. He just pulled it on to the stage. You never. Yeah. He that, said, that, sign that, a tripod. That kind of that kinda took me back. Yeah, you never get used to that reaction either. Every <laughs> yeah. time somebody takes their leg off, it's like, <laughs> so, oh, I mean, okay. I'm going to sign it. It's not yeah. weird, but it's always that aha moment. Yeah. No, you ain't got no WD-40 to give them. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what I <laughs> My cousin in high school uh, put his or got every like his whole class to sign his leg one. He lost his leg. Uh, he was born without one. Oh, okay. Have you guys answered uh, what's your favorite Duck Dynasty episode? I like the one where Willie hired an assistant. The Manny. <laughs> I like shooting all them guns. Shoot, shooting all. Oh, my like, bachelor like party. Cannon and yeah. yeah, shooting them guns. Them guns was in the Patriot. That old boy. T to this day, it will never be. That old boy fired that cannon across Beth River, and he yeah. said, "What is there anything over there? I said, yeah. Yeah, there's a house right there on that point. He said, ooh. <laughs> he said, that wasn't supposed to go that far. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it, was, <laughs> it took off. Uh, I was yeah. like. A full-on cannonball. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was like. Oh wow! I said, "Well, I reckon we ought better go over there and ask them. Make sure, make sure their dock's still there and their house is still there." <laughs> and their I mean, yeah, they still fired there. it right across the point, and I'm like, "Wow, that's still going." Oh, who know. knows where it ended up? I don't. No, we never found it. It didn't go in the house, and their dock didn't have a hole in it, so I don't know where it went. But there's a cannonball out there somewhere. At, after a sharp bend to Beth River, hundred, yeah. hundred years from now, somebody's gonna say, "Wow." Yeah. yeah, maybe that'd be a duck family trip. Go so uh, find uh, the lost cannonball yeah. from yeah. Duck yeah. Dynasty. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, but I didn't know there's a battle here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now there may be a cow that come up unfortunately in that deal, but it was it was wild. My favorite episode was when me and Willie were handcuffed together. <laughs> that was a funny one. Uh, that was uh, hilarious. You got him back. That uh, was that a funny was one. hilarious. Okay. My actual favorite episode, 100%, is You Kids Ever Heard a Nom? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That was oh, no. a good one. Uh, and here we one. go with this lie. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Are you about to tell them that was a green screen? I liked uh, uh, well, hey, I ain't gonna go there. My it's favorite, not true. They, they that said, didn't happen. I my liked, cousin was in the crowd. <laughs> I liked when Phil and Kay renewed their vows, too, because it took me and Godwin like 30 minutes to get that scene of where I hit him with the jacket. Like, they just kept making us 
throw our jackets over our shoulder and then i finally got it however they wanted to that was a fun one it was hot where yeah. the suit and on the bank of the river but yeah like there was there <laughs> were some fun i mean there were they were all kind of fun the rodeo one was fun yeah. Whenever right. you said that, you just said it took you 30 minutes to hit him with the jacket. Yeah. Whenever I gave Godwin donuts on on Duck Dynasty, he would inhale it and he would go, do it again. And I couldn't stop laughing because <laughs> yeah. of how fast he was eating that donut. Yeah. That I, was, that I was, could put him down again. That was, you ate a dozen donuts. That, that was day. fifty pounds ago. <laughs> Remember, like our first family dinner scenes, like we would just sit down and eat, like yeah, like we were eating dinner, and then that's when we realized, oh crap, they're gonna shoot it from both sides too. So you would have to eat like three times. Finally, we just we never ate until they switched sides on us and the, it was like yeah, the last one the last deal and and then you go like, okay i can eat now uh, the rest of it was like and everything's and, cold and every but every one of those i always had the line of let's get on that chicken <laughs> let's get on that <laughs> didn't chicken. matter what we were eating i always said let's get on that chicken the, of the three dinner scenes i was in the first one i was in a chair that was like for river roberts mm -hmm. i was all the way down here and my beard was on the table in the <laughs> sauce for the backstrap we were eating. And I was just. And just about every one of them, they had me and Goblin sandwiched in between. Somebody. A Robertson, a grown Robertson, and all the kids. So we're down there like elbowing the kid. Like we're, we're trying to just, you know, I'm like. <laughs> Tight shot. <laughs> man, could y'all just like. I don't have to be in these dinner scenes. Yeah, like, I'm yeah you cool. can leave me out. Yeah, it, it's cool, man. Like we was in the rest of it. That's fine. Like, but they they were all pretty fun to some they extent. Were. I it mean, it was they fun were. seeing how they got shots. Mm -hmm. I'll never look at a picture show the same. Well, but people think reality TV. It means it's not a hidden like. We, 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 it was in this room. Yeah, you walk in and there was. 16 people right over there with from four, this side yeah. of the table yeah. that with way. four yeah. cameras so you're not it's not just everyday yeah. life like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. and no air conditioning oh like the air had to be off you had to stop for the train yeah hold for train but there were oh. i think the what really got us the, what the people want is every episode we had two stories yeah. So like a lot of reality shows just focused on one story and they could run that thing for forever. Well, we burned through 200 and something stories in a hundred and whatever episodes. And there were some that y'all never saw. Like the yeah, Mardi Gras the episode. Yeah. episode of Mardi Gras. I had, I had told them that, hey, since you're running two stories per viewing. Mm-hmm. We're going to run out of stuff and run out of it quick. Yeah. Hold up. There's a lost Mardi Gras episode? Yeah, yeah, Phil was in two places at once. It was well, weird. We, we, we filmed that for two weeks. We built a float. We were in the yeah. parade. The parade was like, no kidding, it was like 25 degrees. I haven't been that cold in a oh. long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like, haven't been that cold since J Hacksaw Jim Dugan show. That one yeah. was cold, too. That was cold, mm -hmm. too. That's right. When all them wrestlers got out half naked, I yeah. said, boy, you boys are earning it yeah. here, son. You're earning your, your money. Like, they were changing colors. Yeah. It was so cold. It was... Um, yeah, but there is a lost episode, Mardi Gras. We built a float. We were in the parade. Phil was in three places at one time. They did a little bad continuity. That was early on, though, so they didn't, you know, the production team was. I can't believe they didn't run it because it was good. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just cut him yeah. out of one part of or reshoot one yeah, part of it, it was and put it all great. together. But it was hilarious. Si danced with the band, oh, with no. the marching band. Si, yeah. si got off the float and danced oh, yeah, with, like, yeah. the Carroll High School marching band. Yeah, of course it was did. fantastic. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah. it was good. <laughs> I think he was just doing it to warm up, though. I, I was. That's how cold it was. That's, right. That's exactly <laughs> why I did I was freezing my butt off. So, freezing. Yeah, Mardi right. Gras, the lost episode of Duck Dynasty. All right, there so there you, go. you go. Hidden treasure. There you go. Yeah. All right, let's take our last break. We'll be back with one last round of questions right after this. We're back. I'm checking trail camera pictures once again. Nothing. They're moving right now. You need to be um, on deer stand right now. Right now. Right you now. need to. Here, here's how you ought to deer hunt. Get up. Just wake up when you wake up. Don't set no alarm clock. Drink your coffee. Eat your breakfast. Pack your sandwich and an apple. 
And a radio. Take a radio with you. No, you don't need radio. Oh, yeah, you need your radio. And go get on deer stand about 1030. That's right. Set there till dark. Turn it on. Station. You won't have to be there till dark. Because hey, about 11 o'clock, here right. comes a buck. That's Shoot right. him. Hey. Take him to the camp. Especially if Hang you got the radio on. Like like that. That. Then you can have backstrap at night because right. you'll have plenty of time to skin him and quarter him up. That's right. Okay. That's what we feel. So there you go. There That's you how go. you kill a buck right now. <laughs> I love that idea. Because the rut has started. They are chasing like yeah. crazy. All right. And I ain't at the deer camp. That's a PSA for y'all. There you go. This has been a public What y'all got over Um, When do you so, deer hunt? When, uh, me? Yeah. I haven't deer hunted in a while. Well, there you go. There he you just go. hopes they don't jump out in front of that orange car. Because yeah. that. <laughs> that deer going to win that fight. Yeah. Oh, they could probably leap it. I think and I think and single bound. Yeah, I think could. I ran over an armadillo and it like destroyed uh the underside of my car. Well, Anything will destroy my car. You think yeah. you ran over an armadillo? I don't remember. It was a possum. It was a possum. Oh. Two oh. very different creatures. He looked back in the mirror and it wasn't playing. Yeah, that possum pretty right. gushy. Yeah, he played possum, but on this one it didn't. He wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. So Go I ahead. jumped in on Dark Call Room around like the teens like episode 12 or something or 13 i don't remember really? and jordan's yeah and jordan's fairly new so we don't really know the origin of uh the duck car room podcast and how it came to be and a fan was wondering how that all happened i think i have that answer me and martin had an office next door to each other <laughs> and i would sit in his office and he would sit in mine and godwin would join and i think Corey walked by enough times to go why does the world not listen to what these weirdos talk about and we had si. yeah the much. duck call room was born there you go yeah i mean it was born out of like the success of phil and jace on unashamed and when we started it we were like we thought we'd have it a little more centered towards hunting but then we realized no, the real life stories are way better than hunting. So, um, oh, you know, crazy. and hunting gives you like a limited area of what you can talk about. Like with this crazy idiot over here. Uh, Whoa! Hey, like, everything goes. Oh, I love him. I yeah. mean, but you never, every day I walk in here, I'm like, I think I know what we're going to talk about. No. Never. Nope. No. Not not once have we, has it ever gone the way that I thought it would. So, which is what is pure gold and talent from this man. And then we just kind of follow and steer and move mm -hmm. move that way. But that's, yeah, I think it really. The other deal is we just kept getting the comments of like their favorite scenes in Duck Dynasty were in the Duck Call Room, and it was a place that was known. So why not? I mean, it was still here. It was basically sitting vacant. So yeah. it had a, it was my storage. Like I kept waders and shotguns and shotgun shells and all that stuff in here. So like, why not? Let's make it a set and move on. So there you are. There it is. And a podcast was born. And a partridge in a pear tree. And here That's we it. are 300 and something later. That's it. And still going strong. Hit it, Hunter. <laughs> He's laughing too much. It was you asked. Uh, go ahead, Rocky go Top. Ahead. Fire away. If our producer done lost his cookies over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So one person asked, if the rapture occurs while Sai is still alive, what are the odds of him being awake versus napping? That's what's funny. Oh, hey, I, Listen, man, I just read it. Uh, well, I, we thought asleep. it was good to end on. Uh, he's, he'll be asleep. I'd <laughs> say about... <laughs> good when they end, though. <laughs> I'd say about 58.33 repeating, of course, uh, percent chance he'd be asleep. Yeah. Because he sleeps about 14 hours That's a day. Right. Hey. Yeah. 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 He'll wake up. Next question. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i would yeah sleep i mean he's probably gonna be asleep he's gotta be asleep he takes a nap do you, how many hours a day nap. do you sleep 14 that's what uh, i went with on the map no probably about eight. Oh, uh, okay oh no no that's a lie yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one ain't even 95 okay we'll cut it in high four hours a day that you what? sleep yeah oh yeah you no. uh, look, I think it's two or three hours a nap. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, no, no. He's talking about in daylight hours, he sleeps eight yeah. hours a day, not uh, night time. No, I'm talking about during a 24 hour oh. period. Oh, it's it's at least 12 hours a day. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Johnny D yeah. went with 14. Yeah. I would have yeah. probably said 16. I'd have yeah. given you, I'd have given yeah. you an eight hour wake window. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> he's like, oh, and on. it would have been like three windows. I mean, he's wiping sleep out of his No, it was right 24 hours. Okay, so yeah, about. 
No, 12, about a half of it. Okay. He said, how many hours do you sleep a day? He said, about eight. He meant literally during the during day. During the day, yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. his job. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I take it seriously now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what hey, he, a man as active as me, I got to take it seriously. So what Si is saying, 50-50. <laughs> that's right, 50-50. Yeah. 50-50 chance. Hey, that's pretty good. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good, mm. good number, 50%. I got some for Godwin. So Godwin, I f- oh, throughout... <laughs> Throughout the uh, last few years that I've been here, I've realized that you're probably one of the most like interesting people I've ever met. Interesting. Yeah, you, you did uh, bull riding. I just found out you have a phobia to ice and ice water. Yep. And you do uh, coffee art for Miss Paula. Well, I, I ain't real good at it. Yeah, but but I'm, I can't do it. So yeah, I think but that's you really do cool. it. Yeah. It's just a heart. Hey, it's a hobby. You just you do all it. you got to do is pour a big a lot in the middle. <laughs> when it comes out, then just pull through it. That's right, pull through it, boys. Hey, sometimes it's a heart and sometimes it's a blob. And he's a very romantic person. But I do make a coffee every morning. Hey, he does. I come in, I set it on the bed. I I mean, on, not on the bed, on the desk in there, and I pop to make it loud. That's what gets her up. Well, I, I was like just it. wondering if you have like uh, any other like very interesting things about you that we don't know. He, he raced motocross. Yeah, I yeah, race motocross. You, really? He, he's mm-hmm. a flying flea. He can play the trumpet. He, he brought the trumpet, trumpet in one episode very yeah, early. I episode. played it. Mm-hmm. Played when the Saints go marching in for Cy. Yeah. yeah. He wants to be in that number, by the way. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, do you have like any other mm-hmm. like interesting mm-hmm. facts about you that any we don't know? Any other interesting facts? Doesn't like shoes or socks. Pretty much. Hmm. Don't wear underwear. <laughs> yeah. Undergarments and yeah. yeah. Our undergarments are out. Yeah. Socks, uh, draws, undershirt. Nope. I don't know. Most of the time, don't wear. I'm pretty. Don't wear legs already. on his britches. I got to drive a NASCAR ten lap. There you go. That was fun. Big gearhead. If he goes to a mm. funeral, he zips the pants off into shorts in the parking lot when he leaves. Oh, yeah. I can zip it because I got zip Tuxedo. on legs. That's right. Did hey. you do that at a funeral? No, I'm just nah. saying if he's in a situation where pants are required, uh, they will become shorts in the parking lot. Yeah. I don't know. He likes options. <laughs> I like the crappie fish. I like I the hunt. Hunt. At one time, he had three songs on his iTunes. No, I had more than that. <laughs> Rush. There's one Rush. that I would be interested if you ever. Um, uh, I'm gonna say yeah, but Usher, Lil John, and Ludacris. Mm-mm. Huh? That was a good guess, though. Uncle Ludacris. Uh, let's uh, oh. let's go with uh, to give you a hint here. Give me a hint. Um, seasonings. Spicy. Seasonings. Spicy. Is it a Spice Girl song. Mm-mm. No. Spice. Seasonings. Cisco. Mm-mm. No. Nope. No, but Did way more obvious than that. Salt yeah. and pepper push it. Yeah. Boom. It's on there. And why did you have it on there, Galvin? This is my favorite answer ever. It's Miss Paula. She likes Zumba music. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he used to say. He said, that's Paula Zumba music. Yeah. He's over baby, doing baby, Zumba. Baby, baby. Zumba music. Uh-oh. He was doing this. He was doing this while driving down the road. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's uh-huh. what she does. Uh-huh. And we, were, we were listening to Push It There's a in a truck with like 38s on it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Godwin used to have a truck lifted where he needed a step ladder to get into. It. Just about. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good song though, and had a good stereo in it. That's yeah. a good song to play if your wife's pregnant and you're at the hospital giving birth. Me and Godwin yeah. were just riding down the road, two two men listening to Push It Real Good. <laughs> push it real good. <laughs> oh man, hey, good baby, times. baby. Is that it? Is that it, Hunter? We out of here? Uh. Hunter, you're in Hunter, charge. what Bible verse you got? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> that's not that's hey, not my job. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, we can't put y'all can put us on the spot, but we can't put you on the spot. Okay, I got, I you. got you covered, uh, you got Hunter. It, I got you covered because when Cy was saying how much he sleeps, I knew exactly what Bible verse we were going Uh-oh. with. But then I accidentally exited out of it, so I want to make sure I get it right. But I'm going to tell you, it's Psalms four eight. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. That's you right. want to sleep like Sal, you better find the Lord, because that right. man sleeps in peace. Amen. Yeah. Hey, we'll wisdom. See Thanks for the question, Joe. Yeah. We'll see y'all no, next time. Right we now. should do this again sometime. Amen. <laughs>